Welcome, I'm Kristen, a camp director with Camp Galileo Anywhere, and this is Galileo Story Corner. And here is my host, the magical rubber chicken with the mostest, Feathersby. <laughs> Say hello, Feathersby. <laughs> and Feathersby is really, really excited because today we're reading a book about birds. Yes, Feathersby loves reading books about birds because she is a bird. She doesn't like to talk about it though, but that's okay. Okay, um, Feathersby, are you so excited to read this book? Yes, today's book is called Frudel, and it's by Antoinette Partis. And this book is so cool. It's all about a little bird that is courageous and decides to do something different and inspires others around him to do different things too. That's what's so awesome about being courageous, which is our mindset of the week. So let's get started reading this book. All year long, the dogs went woof, the cats went meow, and all the birds in the neighborhood went caw, coo, chip, peep, chip, peep, caw, coo, coo, chip, peep, caw, peep, caw, coo, until one day, out of the blue, Little Brown Bird didn't want to sing the same old song. She didn't know what she wanted to say. Caw, coo, chip, hmm? But it definitely wasn't peep. Something silly, maybe. Frutal sprudel? Definitely. <clears throat> Crow was not amused. What did you say? Um, poodle? Uh-oh, she meant peep. Little brown birds say peep, like doves say coo. So true, we do. So little brown bird said peep. But six minutes later, something else slipped out. Tiffle biffle, just a little miffle. Stop, you are little and brown and you say peep. But she just said miffle. Olive, anyone? Dove liked to keep the peace. But not even snack time stopped the silliness from spreading, because Cardinal figured out there could be silly red birds too. Ickle, zickle, pickle, trickle. Look, the red bird is upside down. Stop it! Too late. Now Dove was wondering if there could be silly white birds. Oobly snoobly. There could. You too, Dove. Try it, Crow. Everyone knows there is no such thing as a silly brat crow. Please come back. Oh, look, there's crow off in the distance. You too, do something. We'll mind our peeps and coos. Lost cause. But little brown bird knew they wouldn't mind them forever. So she wondered, could crows be silly too? Cloggin, zoggin, itsy boggin. Look, there's crow really, really far away. Fooblick, dooblick, not a crewblick. Oh, is Crow getting a little bit closer? Sliggy, quiggy, zink or triggy. Mm, I think Crow is getting closer. Buppy, scrappy, hup hup. Look, there's Crow. Whoopee! Crows could. Flodden, yachts, plemish, ots. Glisk, blue. The neighborhood was never the same. Inka dink. Schmoodle, skirpoodle. The end. <laughs> that book was so silly. I loved how all the different birds made different noises. And I love how the crow was a little bit nervous about being silly, but then was inspired by all of the other birds being silly and felt like he could be silly too. And then it seems like they inspired everybody else to be silly in the neighborhood. I really liked that book because I like being silly and I like saying silly words. And this book had a lot of silly words in it. So if you like see, saying silly words or being silly, then go out and be silly. Maybe it's courageous for you. Maybe it's just normal for you. That's okay too. But go be silly, go be courageous. Stay innovating. <laughs>